my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire, and today I have a very exciting announcement regarding the TronGate framework, and oh what a framework we have. When I made TronGate, you know, I wanted a framework that would be really, really fast, that would feel as if you're using pure PHP, and that had massive levels of stability. And didn't we achieve that? Here we are with a framework that's approximately 20 times faster than Laravel or Symfony, and still we are V1 forever. That does not mean that we don't have new fe uh, features. We, we get new features added constantly. In fact, I'll give you a demo of one in just a minute. But there's one thing that I got wrong. I underestimated the hostility that some developers had towards the concept of downloading a desktop app, you know, desktop software onto their computer. Turns out that there's a small but significant number of developers who are really paranoid about that type of thing. And I'm of the opinion that if you use Trongate without the desktop app, then you're just missing out. I mean, it's like having strawberries without the cream. The desktop app allows us to do things that nobody else can do and things that would not be possible if we just did something like Drupal or WordPress. The desktop app gives us the ability to get up and running in just a couple of clicks and you'll see it in just a moment. We don't have to worry about permissions and setting up databases and command line shenanigans because hallelujah, we have the desktop app. But as I've just alluded to, Unfortunately, there's a few developers out there who just don't like downloading stuff. Therefore, the news flash is that the Trongate desktop app is now open source. 100% free, 100% open source. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. So, this is the Trongate desktop app. As you can see, it's just JavaScript. It's actually a Node.js app. It uses a thing called Electron that you may have heard of. Now, I'll do a tutorial very soon, probably in the next week or two, and I'll, I'll walk you through the whole thing. But the main thing is, you now have no excuse. So all of you slightly paranoid or overcautious types out there, you really have no excuse now, because now you can see the code, you can even change the code and participate. This is huge news for the Trongate framework. Now, I've always said that Trongate values stability above everything else. It's really important for us, you know. But also, I think that there are a few people who, through no fault of their own, they erroneously assume that massive levels of stability mean the framework is never improved. That is not the case. And I'd like to wrap this video up by just demonstrating one of the very latest features that we have. So let's, for the first time, I'm going to show you me running the Trongate app, but as an Electron app. So all I've done is I've navigated into a folder here on my computer, and I'm going to just say Electron dot. Now, don't worry, I'll teach you all of this later on. Just relax, it's easy. But here we are running the Trongate desktop app. Now, by the way, just so you know, because we have access to the code, we can do cool things that were previously not possible. For example, I'll zoom you in here. I'm going to say open dev tools true and check this out. Now, when I open up the desktop app, you can see that we get these dev tools. It's actually a, a headless browser that we're looking at here. And this can be really helpful. I mean, we can have the console open here and we can say, let's say, uh, in fact, let's just, let's just make a new app. I'm going to say Brave New Framework. I'm going to submit, setting up the database. I'm going to choose a location. It's in htdocs. Now look at all of these console.logs. We can really, really see how this is actually working for the first time. Now have a look at this. Here's our app. Everything has been created, the database, the user accounts, all of the permissions, everything. And check this one out. I'm so, so pleased with this. I'm going to take you to Trongate Pages Manage. Now, some of you will know that 
we do have a beautiful content management system and it gives us the ability to add text, headlines, buttons, even YouTube videos and much more. Of course, we can align to the center, increase sizes and all of that stuff. We've also got, I'm sure you remember, probably the best image uploader that I've ever seen for any PHP asset. Have a look at this. And remember, folks, we don't have any third party libraries here. None at all. So I'm going to just upload this nice watch picture and just look at how beautiful this interface is. It's going to give us a little spin. Hello. Isn't that fantastic? Now, as good as that is, there's something that occurred to me, and I have to say thanks to Eric in Utah, who really put me on to this. You see, he has a site that happens to have about 3,500 pictures, or thereabouts. And can you imagine a page like this? If I mean, it's okay with a handful of pictures, but what's going to happen when you have thousands and thousands of pictures on your website? Clearly, that's going to become a problem. So now, I'm pleased to declare, we also have a file explorer. Check this out. I'm going to say new folder. I'll give it a name. I'll call it sub underscore folder submit. Now there's a gazillion checks here. You cannot break this stuff. But here's our new folder giving us a little spin. I'm going to now double click into there. That was a double click. I'm going to upload an image in here. And now, my friends, we have the ability to easily and effortlessly create, add to, delete, of course, and even, look, I'll go out of this folder. You can do sub subfolders, by the way, as much as you want. You have control, but check this out. I'm going to single click and I'm going to change the word sub to new. I'm going to click off of this. And look at that, I've actually just renamed the folder. I'm not aware of any other framework that does anything remotely close to this. And of course, we can click and then hit the delete icon. And we have a little security check here. I'm just going to type this in. And look at that. We've just deleted our entire folder. It's a beautiful, beautiful content management system. Of course, we can easily add images to the page, like so. And once we do that, we can align or maybe even click on to the image itself, have a little look at the code. And I'm going to just do a little class here just for fun. By the way, look at the green button. If I go back to the state it was in, do you see how the green button disappears? But when I do space class, you can see it says submit. It knows that the thing has changed. I'm going to give this a class of MT-3. MT-3 is a little thing that's built into Trongate CSS. It means margin top 3M. So check this out. So we've just shifted that down a little bit. We can save. And it's all fantastic, Ola. So that's just one of the things that has been added. And... I do think it's reasonable to say that we've probably got the best content management system of any PHP framework. If you think there's a better one, please do let me know. But I am absolutely delighted. Even when I click this code view, the code itself is beautified. There's so much going on here. I'm actually kind of amazed that it even works. And look at how easy it is to save. Anyway, that's what we've got. And the big news flash of the day is that the Trongate desktop app is now open source. It's on GitHub. In fact, here it is right here. So you go to the Trongate account, GitHub forward slash Trongate, and then forward slash Trongate desktop app. It's all there. And you'll be able to go in, look at the code, tweak, and all of that stuff. I'm going to be posting a tutorial on this probably within the next week or so. I have a job that I have to finish off for a client at the moment. I'm full on with that. And I also want people to just be aware of what's coming up. But now you know. And what an exciting day. Thank you so much for standing by me. And thank you for your interest in Trongate.